Hey everyone, it's your favorite monkey and welcome back to Starbase. And we are taking a bit of a break from the ship designing and whatnot. Uh, we, I'm still busy with the Inquisitor, but for now I just want to take a break because the game did update just recently and introduced a bunch of new uh, ships. So I decided today that I could listen. We're going to check some of them out and a specific one caught my eye. And, you know, I've been actually looking for a new mining ship, something that uh, is... Well, basically, the one in front of us right now. So we are here in the Duratech department of Starbase. And, uh, yeah, I didn't even know you could sit like that. <laughs> uh, anyways, so introducing this... Uh, can you maybe please load in? Please? 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 Oh, it's trying. There we go. Look at this beast. Look at this thing. It's huge. It's very huge. Um, okay, we'll check it out in a second. Uh, let's just quickly talk about what is going on here. Um, high capacity freighter equals box ship. Uh, many of the ships in the category seems to be designed according to maximum. We refuse. This is the Vano class super freighter made by Duratect. Puristic approaches. Approach meets uncompromising uncomprom uncompromising aesthetics there we go oh my goodness uh the bay variant focus on an excellent mining performance equipped with two mining lasers and two ore collectors asteroids are eaten precisely thanks to the triangular three axis turret control this voluptuous lady outfitted with 480 cargo crates listen guys i you, if you guys saw my loxodonta video um at the beginning we tried to cram in 400 and that kind of failed so you know, <laughs> hats off to these guys who've managed to a whopping 480 cargo crates. Uh, powerful thrusters array with a maximum speed of uh, 130 um, meters per second and proven ISAN quad navigation system, including waypoint module, offers experienced miners an excellent solution for the belt and beyond. The skill level has advanced. Ha! I don't care about skill levels. All right, it is sitting around 49.9 million. Um, just you know it's not 50 it's less than 50 so it's a good price if it's less than 50 it's a good price i mean for 480 cargo crates um for 50 mil is not that bad the loxodonta was i think over 50 mil and has no cargo crates <laughs> so just just gotta point that out all right uh if you guys don't know what the loxodonta is it's a ship i've designed so you guys can go ahead and look into my previous videos uh it is there is the mega hauler i was designing but um yeah, I must say Duratech really outdone themselves with this one. It is called the Vanna B. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I think we are going to go ahead and purchase it. Done. It's done. It's done. We purchased it. Yes. I am now a proud owner of the Vanna. Right. Um, I did go ahead and did a bit of a test flight. And there are a few things you need to do before, you know, embark on your journey. And... Uh, yeah, I think we are gonna go, you know, just normal asteroid mining just here in the safe zone. Small, small ones, the little rocks, not the big ones on the outsides of the, uh, in the danger zone. So yeah, hold on guys, let me quickly see if I can get this baby up and running. And I'll meet you guys at the asteroid field. Alright, we're back. And this is the Vanna in full glory. And I gotta say, it is really nimble. I feel like if you swapped out the... Um, uh, turrets, these ore collectors and the uh, laser turrets for, you know, just normal weapons and things, um, it would still make a decent fighter, to be honest, like a really beefy type of fighter um, it's a really nimble ship considering, like, it has so many ore, ore crates in it and, uh, yeah, look at this thruster array, like, wow that is neatly done, I gotta admit that's really neatly done I, I like the attention to detail as well like these uh the decorative plates really really cool well done to that and also like the bolts you know uh, very well placed and all that and uh yeah so also over here we can see there are the fuel cells and these ones are not being used these ones are being used so yeah if you want access to your um which i'm calling your fuel cells it's just here on the side so it's very easy to swap out you know just go to the um, shops, get yourself a few, and then you just sit here and just doop, doop, doop. easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, so let's begin. Um, over here is the 
array for um, navigations and things. You enter your coordinates. Ah, let me just do this. Um, enter your target coordinates. You just go ahead and type in it's um, X, Y, and Z. Then seven, eight, nine, four, five, six, and one, two, three at the bottom. Um, and then you can set your many, many, many waypoints. I think that's what fifteen. 16 yeah 16 waypoints in total you can have um and also here is your resource bridge you can you choose to bridge in or bridge out doesn't matter um and yeah that's pretty cool you have your pathfinders or your range finders on the sides i i don't know which one you prefer but i call them pathfinders since it's always a name <laughs> uh, i always see on ships and whatnot and uh yeah your ore collectors over left hand and right hand side and top and bottom is your mining lasers i think yeah mining lasers and this cockpit is really cool and once again props to the detail to the ship and also like how this works oh, i like the arrow that's pretty cool a little attention to detail so you can come in here and you sit down and right here is the bottom go ahead and click that and then you Okay, so this is this is pretty cool, you know. I like this. This is really cool. Um, one thing I've noticed is this: if you go ahead and click on display, like where'd they go? Where's the information? Like these things fall in and out. I didn't know that worked that way. That is really really cool. I gotta admit. Um, so you, you've got your um, fuel rods and your propellant tank, I think. Then you have your orientation and distance and position, all that, your navigational stuffs over here. Uh, you got your generator rate, your battery, your velocity, and the amount of thrust you use. I like that the thrust is here so that you can, as you mine, you can just keep an eye out on it. So if you, you know, want to get closer and whatnot. Um, I don't think there are any reverse thrusters or unless I'm mistaken, I didn't really see any. Uh, we can actually take a look real quickly. Um, unfortunately you cannot get out of your seat unless you open the cockpit so but I think that is part of the minimalist design like the small cockpit to fit in everything else uh, doesn't look like there are really reverse thrusters that I can see at a glance uh, I could be wrong no no they are they are they, they are my, my goodness now why is my buttons not working <laughs> I think I have to bind them and that's another thing you have to do so we have to do that real quick like um yeah you can these two buttons on the sides open and close the cockpit so if you somehow accidentally close yourself outside a the cockpit then you can close like just press the button and it will open and close for you so to access your um, key binds just look at the chair press V on your keyboard and then this will pick up so then you have a various amounts of things um there is a custom one i think that's a custom one i made at some point um yes then there's your forwards backwards wait mm, no it doesn't look like it works and if i hit this or this now it doesn't look like it works um my keybinds are not correct yeah, but still normal left, right, those things they work up, down, left, right, twirl, those things work. Uh, power up, power down. Oh, not power. Uh, it's just like your normal upwards, downwards drift, right and left drift. Uh, let's see what else is there. There's lasers and all those things. Um, slow mode is shift as well. And. Wait, 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 we're moving. Where are we going? Stop. Uh, center, center. There we go, there we go. <laughs> Whoops. I lined up this uh, asteroid for us to... Now it's gone. Oh, no, here it is. Hello. All right. Um, you can, you can, you can stop now. Thanks. Now, uh, what I've done is... Oh, I already had it open. So what I've done is here at... The turret distance plus and minus is to increase the distance um, the laser beam to increase its distance and close it i've put it at numpad seven and nine um, then you control the pitch and rotation and i just did did this with um uh what you might call it the uh numpads uh four five six and eight i believe yes i did that 
And that's what you need to do in order to control the, the, the uh, turrets on, on top. Let's go ahead and close this. And then use our... Oh man, I hated that the um, things are in the way. Let's just give ourselves a little boost. Turn ourselves around. There we go. Lovely. Okay. And this thing is quite powerful in its thrust. It, uh, like, we almost stopped instantaneously. Alright. Now we got you lined up. Now, this is another thing here at the back is more things you, you can, you know, play around with and whatnot. Um, as we can see, the pathfinding uh, is not here, but it's here at the back. So you can just go ahead and press it there. Um, and then what we are going to do is we're going to switch on mining mode so that the generator goes up to 100%. I think that's what it does. But still, mining mode, we have to engage mining mode because we are going to mine. So we're going to activate the lasers. There they are. And now, let's see if we can just move a scooch closer. Come on. All right, we are moving. So now I'm using my keypads to bring the lasers into position. As we can see, the lasers are moving and we can actually, there we go, like that. Let them meet up in the center. Just giving myself a little boost. Yeah, to so get ourselves nice and close to the asteroid. There we go. And then now we can just do this. How cool is this? Huh? Um, downwards. There we go. And I think I inverted my uh, things by accident. There we go. Lovely. Now this is really cool. I, I'm, I'm astounded by this. There we go. There we go. And let's see if we cannot do that. Anything else in the back? Oh, oh, oh! There it is. We can bring it back. Just scooch. Actually, there we go. <laughs> That oh. actually, I should I, I should probably switch on turtle mode, right? And see if we can bring this back. There we go. Uh, actually, go down. Yeah, my controls are inverted, so my apologies. And aim down. There we go. Alright, and then just give me a deer and suck that up. Thank you very much. Great stuff. Okay, cool. So all we have to do is switch off the lasers and just say mining mode disengage. And let's go ahead, open up the cockpit and let's take a look at our bounty. I'm also just going to switch off the pathfinders over here. And yep, over here. Go ahead and connect ourselves and there we go now look at this that is insane really really insane the the amount of capacity you have you'll be out here for hours for hours geez like i i'm i'm astounded i'm really i'm i don't know what to say guys really i don't know what to say uh there is something i actually want to check out so if we go down yeah, just one thing, don't press the engine button. <laughs> I did that in the test flight and I had to wait for the system to boot up. <laughs> that was my bad. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, okay, so that's that. Thrust. Okay, slow mode, save. I'm just trying to see if there was something that we can use uh 
Oh, that's just the movements. That's the engine display. Um, bridge out, bridge in. No, that's that. That's the batteries breaking. Oh, huh. actually, where is FCU backwards? Is control okay? So that's just minus it, and then we want to go backwards. Forward plus forward minus. Break? What does break mean? Watch writing, the current input, stop coordinates. Um, okay. Just want to see because we have reverse thrusters, I saw. I mean, the strangle thrusters. Uh, what happens if I just do this? Just, just out of curiosity. All right, there we go. Yes, there we go. We got a reverse thruster. So you have to go and it's not automatically added. You have to go and um, add the key bindings yourself. But still, this is still a really cool ship. Hello, CPO, CPO. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot of people out here today. I gotta admit, I've I've been so much spending so much time in the ship development. That or ship designer that I forgot. I don't know, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Where is where am I? Oh goodness. Well <laughs> uh, there we go, so I managed to get out of the ship unharmed. But yeah, luckily there was a uh, the bolt tool. Always tried to bring a bolt tool and I just unbolted the uh, glass, got it out put it back and just bolted it on its hinges where it should be and now it's all fine and dandy so i'm really happy that happened <laughs> uh but yeah just you know um open the doors get outside and then close the doors or whatnot just don't or don't try to get out too quickly you know don't try to move too quickly <laughs> but anyways uh so yeah let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about this mining ship it's pretty pretty cool it's got a decent amount of cargo space and will pay off for itself if you want to spend some time in the belt um otherwise yeah it, it's a it's a good price for what you get really nimble little thing little <laughs> nimble thing um and yeah so if you also have any other questions about it please let me know in the comment section i'll see if i can get uh some answers for you from the Dura duratech guys um otherwise if the duratech guys are watching and you guys see some comments um you can answer for me there as well if you can i don't know all the details about the ship but it's still really good and uh yeah i think I'm gonna, this is my new favorite ship, mining ship yeah anyways people that's it for me thank you so much for joining me here on starbase hope you guys did enjoy today's episode and i will see you guys next time bye bye